All right, guys, welcome to your 12th video, and I got some good news. In this video, we are finally going to be done with the main CSS file because all we're going to be doing is styling the search box right here, the elements inside it, rather, and also styling the buttons for the website. Now, every button on this website is going to have the same exact style as you see search, submit, um, the login button they're all gonna have that same basic style so like I said we only have to style this once and then we're gonna be good to go no matter whenever we decide to use a button so let's go ahead and before we start with the buttons I wanna style the elements inside the search bar now the search bar by default gives you the black and plain old text with not very much styling so let's go ahead and change these right now so the first thing I want to do is add a new class called search box. So what I want to do is whenever I apply this class to an element, the first thing I want to do is give it a padding. Now I want to give a padding of two pixels and let me show you what happens. Whenever you write something in here, can you see how the text is kind of separated from the edge of this um, text area? It isn't butted right up against the edge of it. Well, that's what the padding does. And also, this all categories default text isn't padded up right against the bottom of this. I just like to give it a little bit of space. I think it looks really cool. And now what I want to do is I want to give it a border color. Now the border, I'm going to have one pixel solid in the hexadecimal I already figured all this boring stuff out is B9 B D C 1 yeah you guys are like how the heck did you come up with that I actually just cheated online and uh, looked at a actually this has to be a 9 hello looked at a little color chart and that's the color I like so it has a border and the color for this is the color of the text now I don't want plain black text by default I want kind of a dark gray because it just goes with the flow of the website so the color of the text is 50 50 50 now like I said I'm gonna be applying this class not only to this right here but also this so the color of all this text is gonna change this is gonna be padded as well so there you go there you have it so now the only thing we have left to do is style the buttons for the website now what I've okay how can I explain this what I did is I already coded the classes that we need I know I kinda cheated but instead of taking you guys through all the little itty gritty details about one button I'm gonna go ahead and just look at this paste all this which I coded in between the last tutorial and this one and explain to you guys what these things are so the first thing is pretty much the shadow of a button and you need three different lines to make it compatible cross browser um, the next thing I did is the default color of the button now this entire thing is a gradient and if you don't know how to do gradients in um, CSS then go ahead and watch my HTML5 and CSS tutorials and you'll understand that but like I said I just want to skip over these things real quick because you know this isn't like core information that you need to know for the website it's just kind of a one-time thing and you know we're never gonna make gradients again other than the spun so I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time on it and other than that I added a border radius which rounds the button and of course thank you um, for not standardizing this because we need way more lines of code to do this than is necessary and then I added a border I made it an inline block so it flows in line with the elements and doesn't you know move down line or anything like that the color is white which is the color of the text um, the font family is Arial the font size is 14 it's bold now the padding 2 pixels 10 pixels means the top and bottom padding are 2 and the left and right are 10 pretty much no underline and I also gave this text a nice text shadow so as you can see it looks like the text pops out a little bit and that's why because because I gave it a nice text shadow so there is your styling for the button and remember guys you can just go ahead and download the CSS file and uh, you don't have to you know pause the video and copy everything down just go ahead and download this file and if you suggest any uh, changes or have any recommendations to make a button look a little bit prettier go ahead and let me know on the forum but anyways this is the main default button now aside from this I already uh, coded a button hover and a button active now whenever you hover over the button all I did is I pretty much just changed the background so check it out hovering over the button 
pretty much the background gets reversed where it was dark it's now light where it's light it's now dark just lets the user know that they are interacting with it that's why I like to add a hover and the last thing I did is coded a button active now whenever they press down on the button as you can see it says position relative top one pixel so it basically says okay we're gonna move it down one pixel and that's whenever the user clicks down the button the button shifts down one pixel and that is just you know like I said to let them know that they're interacting with the button and it's working correctly I like to give them that feel of interaction satisfaction there you go that's a cool line I'm gonna end on that so anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to download your files and I will see you guys in the next video where we are hopefully going to be um you know what I think I'm gonna save it for then so anyways I'll see you then